Well, I mean, the, the uh, introduction was like about three minutes ago. I'm the king of the jungle that call me Tiger Man. I'm the king of the jungle that call me Tiger Man. What's up, guys? Welcome to this video on Elvis is the Man. So I have a very special video to bring to you guys today. Uh, a guy named Peter Schmidt, he's from Germany. He is a serious Elvis footage collector. He's been collecting for decades. I've been corresponding with him recently and he was kind enough to send me some footage to use for my channel. It's from the summer tour in 1973. This was a really great tour. Yeah, he did have uh, some incidences with an overdose like St. Louis. Um, which is actually in this footage. There's footage from that evening's performance. This footage goes along with the video I put out yesterday where Elvis is arriving in St. Louis. Um, there's actually professional footage of him getting off the plane, uh, speaking briefly with the reporter and waving to some fans. So this goes right along with that video. So Peter, thank you on behalf of Elvis fans for this footage and uh, let's see what it is. Guys, so that footage was so fantastic. Now, um, it's like me personally, I get so excited when I see new footage like this because how much new stuff is really out there for us to see, unless it's in the hands of uh, these private collectors. Um, you know, so like how many times are we gonna see um, the 68 special? I mean, I've watched it hundreds of times. Uh, you know, that's the way it is, Aloha from Hawaii, and we're waiting on Warner Brothers to you know, release some of this stuff and maybe Elvis Presley Enterprise get into some type of an agreement over it. Uh, but in the meantime, footage like this will surface. And so Peter, thank you very much for this. A few notes that I wanna make about this footage here. You can really see Elvis's showmanship, which I believe comes natural. When he's uh, entering the limo, um, I believe it was the 28th, uh, he had his hands up like this, you know, like I'm the king, I'm the man, just like he did in other times where uh, like the uh, when he was leaving the stage, or actually leaving and exiting the stage at the 77 special in Rapid City. Man, I, he's so cool. Elvis was very energetic for this concert, even though you know he had some uh, health problems and, and was going through some addiction things, uh, which I got into on the previous video. Don't have to rehash that now. He was very energetic, more so than even uh, Aloha from Hawaii. <laughs>
Now, I wish he performed like that for Aloha, but you know, we have great um, performances of him singing in Aloha, which we do here too. So this footage is very interesting because you can tell like this is when Elvis started to sing flip flop and fly in a melody. He was getting bored doing the same old songs like Hound Dog, all that. And this shows that he could really um, expand on the set list because he had such a large library of songs. Tree me. What? Okay, I'll do it. All 429 of them. I'll do it. You know, just after this, so this was June, in August, uh, he was preparing for another Vegas season, his summer engagement there, which he's been having summer games since 1969 there. Um, he was experimenting with other songs that he was getting ready to put in the live show. New songs like She's Not You. Cause she's not you. Feel so bad. Feel so bad. Feel like a ball game on the Mess of Blues um, and Trouble. Send you The only one he actually stuck with was Trouble, which I think is probably the lesser of the ones that he tried. Like, can you imagine Elvis singing She's Not You? He had so many songs that fans would have loved. He didn't have to keep doing Hound Dog. Trouble. If you're looking for trouble, you came to the right place. If you're looking for trouble, uh, but I do like when he gets into the gyrations for Flip Flop and Fly. Um, and there's also some footage there of I'm Leaving. So Peter, thanks again for this footage. Me and Elvis fans appreciate it very much. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think of this footage. There might be more to come. I'll uh, keep you posted if there is. Talk to you guys next time. All right, guys. So... And keeping up with my tradition that I've been doing lately at the end of some of my videos, I'm going to take the time to read some of your comments that you guys left me from yesterday's video. This one comes from GPT. Uh, this person says, he pushed himself too hard, had too many people that depended on him. True. Such a generous person. Never wanted to let his fans down. We have no idea what kind of pain he was in. Just probably trying to keep functioning. Heartbreaking. So this person obviously is a hardcore supporter of Death, Destined to Die Young, um, you know, and Dr. Nick did talk about Elvis's pain, but I've read both books. I, I don't really think that Elvis was in excruciating pain at all times and all these ailments. I really don't believe that from uh, other books I've read and just what I've observed. To me, I think it's possible that Dr. Nick could have overemphasized some of these ailments because uh, he was under a lot of scrutiny and uh, maybe needed some type of an alibi, some type of reason why he prescribed Elvis so many drugs. But one thing I do agree with you though on that comment is that yes, Elvis was a generous person and pretty much everybody was on his payroll. I mean, uh, Colonel took his share and then the rest of Elvis's share, he had to pay the band, um, he had to support his dad, the mafia members, so all the expenses really went on him, and I wish he would have, uh, you know, cut some people loose and had him over as a friend, not like a live-in, you know, employee. But in Elvis's defense, it is nice having people that you think you can trust working for you. All right, Cheryl Bush, um, I believe I pronounced that right. Uh, she says, I'm so appreciative of the timelines you create in your videos when sharing information about Elvis and simultaneously giving us new information or reminders about what was going on in his life at that time. It is so helpful to keep details straight. Best Elvis channel on YouTube. And uh, I really appreciate that compliment. Um, I, I'm, I really do. I love seeing comments like this. And these are just random ones that I picked. I didn't like pre-screen them or anything. But uh, yeah, so like when I see footage or when I listen to music or something, what's going in my on in my head is what I'm putting out on video for you. So it's pretty much my thoughts. Sorry guys, it's a little noisy around here. But thank you, appreciate that. All right, and this person, RG805, 13 hours ago says, being 52 years old and being an Elvis fan as long as I can remember, I have no illusion about Elvis's martial arts skill or lack thereof. I do know, however, that his movie flights, fight scenes were always entertaining, and he did show some nice agility and speed. He did some decent kicks, throws, punches. Yeah, um, he's referring to what Elvis was wearing, his karate G that uh, was in the footage from yesterday's video. 
I do think that Elvis was very good at martial arts. I, I personally don't think that he was a legit eighth degree black belt. I think it was given to him given to him because he was Elvis Presley. I do think he was good. I think he knew a lot. I think he could definitely handle himself in a fight, which uh, you know we know when uh, four men jumped on stage to attack Elvis. Um, you know he he threw one of them off the stage with some type of karate movement. I think he definitely knew what he was doing, but I don't think uh, he was disciplined enough to go as far as he thought he had gone. A fan commented one time and told me that he asked Kang Ri one time, uh, was Elvis really as good as, you know, his uh, belt said he was? And uh, Kang looked at him like, are you serious? Of course he is. So, you know, Ed Parker also knew he was legit. Um, while I'm on the topic, Barbara Lay uh, commented in her book that Elvis was very good. He had a lot of ability. And if he really would have been serious, he could have been great. Um, also, uh, I believe it was the director or maybe one of the uh, uh, boxing trainers from the movie G Kid Galahad said that uh, Elvis had a great punch and uh, he had some ability for boxing. So I definitely think Elvis was an athlete. So thanks for your comment.